Doodly doo, doodly doo, doodly doo, doodly doo. Then you're gonna do like some cool music, little montage of da 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 Lego 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 da 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 da. Uh, animal crackers. Yeah, why not? Hey everyone, it's Bill, and I'm down in the shop, but it's not my shop. It's Frank's shop. Hello. And it's not even the last shop I've been in. No, the last shop you worked in was across over there. the parking lot. It was much smaller. This is twice the size, just like square footage, but oh, I almost yeah. tripled it with all the mezzanine and the storage. That yeah, I've no kidding. And I've been following on, on Instagram, you showing all this stuff going down this cool uh, flooring. And the clean side of the shop. Clean yeah. Clean side, dirty side. It's, yes, very cool. Uh, well, I'm down here to, to play a little bit, do a little bit of work, but mostly to play this weekend. And uh, swing by Frank's shop here. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a party later. I'm gonna have my 38th birthday party That's here. Right. And we're gonna break in the shop the right way. Gonna be fantastic with Lego, of course. Yeah, we got Legos, yes. we got tables full of crayons, mm -hmm. a pool table like every shop should have. They should, mine doesn't have one yet. Soon, soon very soon. Uh, anyway, I'm down here farting around. I figured that we could do a little tour and check out some of the new stuff we got in the new place. Yeah, lots of new toys. Yes, so let's go check that out now. My other new toy is my laser. I got this awesome laser from Universal and I finally got it all plumbed in. Uh, I ran 220 over here and I had to run the, um, the air system because you have to have really, really good suction on these things to evacuate all the fumes. Everything that you cut gives off some sort of gas that's not good for you. So you have to have really good evacuation. Um, so this is my next toy that I can't wait to like build some man scientist kind of shit with. So my favorite new toy is the bridge port and it's a real bridge port. Um, I've always, always, always wanted one of these things and it's basically kind of a multi-thousand dollar drill press, but you can move it, you know, move all the X, Y, and Z axis to make really cool stuff. Um, this, this machine's from the 70s and so this is gonna outlast even me. So I decided to chip in and get like really nice tooling, like really good um, vice and like a good mill end, like end mills and all the, the fixtures and everything. And it's cool uh, LED ring so that I don't have a, a lamp like on a arm all over the place. And then I also have a digital readout. Um, which will tell me digitally where the table is X, Y, and Z, but it has two Z's. It has a, a Z for the quill and a Z for the knee. So it, it measures where this is going up and down and it measures where this is going up and down. So I still gotta install that and then I gotta put the power feed on the knee and on the table. But once that's done, it's dialed. But I love this thing. Booze. <laughs> airlines in all around the shop. I have drop downs uh, over here and I have copper pipes running all the way around the shop so I have air in just about every corner. Um, I use copper because PVC can burst and fail and copper is just really nice. You can just solder it all together and it adds I think about 10 or 15 gallons to the capacity of my air tank. So now I have air everywhere. Yeah. Same thing with electric. There's electric everywhere too. Whoa! That is a lot of cool new toys Frank. I gotta say I'm a little jealous. Come down to play with my stuff anytime you want. All right, I will. I want you to come down here and build stuff on the Bridgeport yes. and the Universal Lake. Yes, and I, and I very much want to, especially the mill. I'm very excited to learn how to use one of those guys. Yep. And if you're gonna do it, why not do it with, with the real the deal? Classic Bridgeport. <laughs> uh, awesome. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that little look into Frank's new shop. I know I did. I'm looking forward to the party. Mm -hmm. uh, if you guys haven't already, you should, of course, go follow Frank Bolito on Instagram, Facebook, Twitters, Twitters, all that stuff. All those places. Check out Creature Geeks with Len. Yeah, we have a podcast called Creature Geek. Yes, you do, and it's really, really cool. Thank you. Uh, and then, of course, me, I'm Chinbeard on Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll have more from my shop later. Do you think we've broken the internet, both wearing shirts like this, hats like this, little gray in our beard? <laughs> I'm sure people think there's a conspiracy out there. Maybe. Um, we gotta get Harrison to dress like us. Now. We do, yeah, yeah. He'll, he'll have him, I'll, uh, I'll Photoshop him in, right? Here, where my hand is. Hi, I'm Harrison. 
I'm actually in my shop in Atlanta working like a maniac. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go party. Yep. Camera.